be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus and Scout videos. Hello and welcome to another Magnus and Scout video. Today we're diving a little deeper into the world of greyhounds. We've talked a lot about in the past about how amazing greyhounds are as pets. But I want to take a little different approach today and talk about some of the things that's important to consider when adopting a greyhound and why it may not be the best dog for you. First and foremost, it's important to note that greyhounds are incredibly unique and have specific needs that must be taken into account before bringing one home. One thing to keep in mind is that greyhounds are known for their ability to run, but as many greyhound owners will tell you, they're equally as known for their ability to sleep for most of the day. But that doesn't mean you don't have to take this dog for regular exercise. In fact, greyhounds require about an hour of exercise each day to burn off energy. Without enough exercise, greyhounds may become destructive or anxious, which can lead to behavioural issues such as digging, chewing or barking excessively. So make sure you have the time and to dedicate to take the dogs for walks and for runs throughout the day. Another thing that's important to consider in greyhounds is prey drive. This is a natural inclination to chase small animals. This may make them a poor fit for homes that already have small pets such as cats. Even if a greyhound has been raised with small pets, they may still have a strong inclination and strong prey drive and be unable to resist chasing given the opportunity. It's important though to note that some animals can coexist with small pets. I personally know of a few people who have greyhounds that do live with cats, but Magnus and Scout are definitely not cat safe. Another aspect of prey drive is it means that you'll have to keep your dog on a lead at all times unless they're in a secure environment as they can run off if they see something they wish to chase and you may never be able to catch them again. So you have to be aware of this when adopting a greyhound. Greyhounds are also sensitive dogs that may not do well in homes with loud or chaotic environments. They can be easily frightened by loud noises such as fireworks and thunderstorms and may become anxious in a busy or stressful household. Greyhounds are also sensitive to changes in routine so they may not do well with owners who have inconsistent working schedules. They do benefit from a quiet and calm home and a quiet peaceful environment. They are generally not suitable for homes with lots of noise or lots of visitors or lots of stress. In addition, greyhounds can have a tendency to be timid or shy, which may make them more challenging to train and socialise. They may be more reserved or less outgoing than some other breeds, and they may not respond to commands or cues as other breeds would. They generally require a more gentle and patient approach to training and benefit from positive reinforcement. Greyhounds also have thin coats and low body fat, making them sensitive to extremes in temperatures, both hot and cold. They may not be able to tolerate cold weather and may require a coat or a sweater to keep warm and in hot temperatures, greyhounds can overheat. They are definitely not an outdoor dog and should not be kept outdoors. They are not well suited to extremes in temperatures and are best kept in moderate climates. This is something you'll need to consider when adopting a greyhound. Another important thing to keep in mind is that greyhounds have specific dietary needs. Greyhounds are prone to obesity and it's important to manage their diets carefully to avoid putting extra pressures on their joints. Greyhounds are meant to be lean, just like marathon runners, so it's important to be responsible with the amounts that they are fed. Greyhounds can be prone to separation anxiety and may not do well when left alone for long periods of time. They are social animals and they crave companionship. They may become anxious or destructive if left alone for too long, which can be difficult to manage. Gradual training and socialization can help them become more comfortable with being alone, but it can be a slow and long process. Magnus had separation anxiety and it took several months to get it under control. Lastly, greyhounds are prone to certain health conditions such as hip dysplasia and bloat, which can be costly to treat. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition that affects the hips and causes pain and mobility issues. Bloat is a serious condition which can be life-threatening if not treated immediately. 
It's important to be aware of these health issues and to work closely with your veterinarian to ensure that a greyhound stays healthy and happy. It's also important to note that greyhounds have a unique body structure and they have very thin skin and short hair, which makes them more susceptible to cuts and abrasions. It's important to be aware of these characteristics and to take the necessary precautions to keep your greyhounds safe. Greyhounds are a majestic breed known for their speed, grace and affectionate nature. However, before bringing one home, it's important to carefully consider whether they're the right fit for your lifestyle. Adopting a pet is a significant decision and researching the unique needs and characteristics of the greyhound is crucial. So if you want to adopt a greyhound, the big thing is research. Do lots and lots of research and ask your adoption center as many questions as you can to make sure the dogs are right for your lifestyle. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon with more Magnus and Scout videos. If you're looking for some videos on why greyhounds make great pets, why not check out these?